Welcome to Share, and on this week's episode, we present. Hello, this is Michael Farrell. I'll be your host this week on Share, where I'll be showing you how to use Access 2007 as a front end for an MS SQL 2008 server. Uh, it's been a while since uh, we've been on the air here. We've been making some improvements. If you've been to our site, you'll see that uh, our new site has launched, and we've gotten some of our project work off our plate. So. We'll have more consistent schedule coming out for you, and uh, we've actually booked some items in the in the queue. So we we hopefully will have things for you coming out on a weekly basis going forward. So let me start here. Um, what we have here is SQL Server Express 2008. It's just a free version of SQL Server, and I've installed their sample database, the Northwind database. Anyone who has any previous experience with MS SQL knows about the Northwind database. It's just a sample database that gives you fake data for a company that places orders for customers and they have employees, some products, region shippers, suppliers, territories, and whatnot. What I'm actually going to do is connect to the SQL server database with access as a front end. Uh, we found that quite a few people have um, a lot of experience using Access to run their queries, to run their reports, to find the data that they need. Uh, but at some point, they end up with so much data that Access really just can't handle it. But at the same time, they want to they want to upgrade to SQL, but then they don't want to go through the process of learning how to write queries in SQL. So a little hybrid here would be to have someone import all your data from Access into SQL and then just use Access as the front end that you're accustomed to. So I'm going to show it to you here with the Northwind database. So what we're going to do is first we have our data already here. It's already set up in SQL. What I need to do is go to uh, the ODBC drivers and set up a connection for the SQL database. It's under the control panel, administrative tools data sources ODBC. We're just going to add a new one here. Go to the SQL Server native client 10.0. Uh, we'll just call it local server. And I actually have it saved here. It's just the name of my machine slash SQL Express is the name of the server. I'm just going to log in with my Windows authentication. If you had, uh, if you did set up an SA account or any kind of SQL account natively, you could use that there. Now I'm going to change my default database over to Northwind, and the fact that I'm actually getting a list is very positive. It means it's making a connection, realizing it, and just keep going through. Click finish, test the connection, is successful. Okay, okay. Maybe close the control panel. So let me bring up Access. I'll set up a new database here. And I'll just put it on my desktop. And I'll just leave it like that database one. That's fine. It's just for testing purposes. Great. All right. So what I'm going to do is link up for uh, to get the external data from the SQL database. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different uh, entry points here from other access databases to Excel, to SharePoint lists, text files, XML files, and you could do more. In our case, we're going to want to do an ODBC connection. Now what's interesting to me is that they have DB, DBase file, Paradox files, Lotus123 files, but they don't actually have like a direct connection to a SQL database or natively one here. I guess they, they pretty much force you to go through ODBC. So we'll start with the ODBC connection, and we could do one of two things. Either you import the data from SQL directly into Access. In our case, we don't want to do that. We've already put the data from Access into SQL. We just want to use this as a front end. So what we're going to do is a second option, which is link to the data source by creating a link table. And now we have to point to our data source, which mine is under machine data source, the local server. And now it's going to ask me, okay, what do I want to bring in? 
So here I'm going to see, you'll see um, user tables, uh, user tables at the top. And then below that, you'll see all the system tables. Um, I don't know why they bring these in. As far as a list, I would confuse somebody, but for some reason they do. So let's say I want to link customers to their orders and then to their order details. And I think that's all I would want. Okay, it's bringing them all in. Now they all show up here on the left hand side. So let me open up my customers. Check out their orders and see all the details. Very quick, very easy.